From the limestone of Belize comes dolomite to nourish the banana industry. Dolomite, a natural fertilizer, is being processed in Punta Gorda, mined from a dolomite deposit discovered by Brian Holland, a well-regarded geologist, filling this dolomite demand fueled by the thriving banana industry of Belize. The value of dolomite is in its magnesium content, and this dolomite is rich in magnesium. And compared to the cost of chemical fertilizers, this dolomite is cheap, and it's here in abundance in Belize. The processing of dolomite is one of crushing and separating, sorting and sifting. Many conveyors lead the raw ingredient through machines aimed at, in the end, a finely ground powder that can be added to the soil to raise the pH, making the soil more plant friendly. Brian is proud of his dolomite processing plant, and we can understand why. Filling a niche as important as the banana export industry is a thrilling opportunity. Brian has found a way to do what he loves and profit from it, and he gets to live in PG, one of the most beautiful parts of Belize. Here's more on the subject. This surface here is a slick and slide. That's a geologic term for the surface formed when two rocks grind against each other along a fracture zone. If you look in the wall over there, you see the, those fracture lines. Each one of those will have a surface like this on the, on the fracture surface and it's produced let's say, when the rock grinds against each other. If you look at it in a microscope, you can actually see which direction the rock has moved. As our time with Brian Holland came to an end, we realized that we had seen a success story. Brian had searched, discovered, processed, and marketed a product that makes the world a better place. Dolomite, a natural fertilizer option. Hey Brian, we've known each other for decades. I've always wanted to understand better what dolomite is all about and what you do and I know so many farmers look forward to your product. Tell, tell us about it. Okay, well, th well thanks very much, Cadet. Um, I'm, uh, I'm very proud to say that uh, in May this year we celebrated our 24th year in production here in, in Punta Gorda, uh, producing this uh, dolomite for the agricultural industry here. Um, you know, I originally came to Belize actually looking for kale and clay deposits. And it was when I spoke with uh, Fife's uh, to have access to some of the banana farms to look in, in some of their drainage ditches that uh, they suggested that it would be much better if I looked for a dolomite for the banana industry. And so uh, having done some research prior to coming to Belize, I knew that there were dolomite deposits around Punta Gorda. And so I, uh, I went down, spent a few days in the field, and found what I thought was, uh, was a really good deposit. And I took lots of samples, and they were shipped back. At that time, I was living in England. They were shipped back to England and analyzed by a lab there and proved that we were looking at a fertilizer-grade dolomite deposit, a really nice one. And so that led to uh, finding a partner, and eventually the Danish government, uh, their development bank, IFU, uh, the Industrialization Fund for Developing Countries. They, uh, they co-invested with us and some other partners and our local partner, Alistair King. And uh, we opened up in 1991 uh, with what I believe is one of, the, one of the best dolomite deposits I as a geologist have ever seen. Uh, this deposit is extraordinarily uniform. It has a very high magnesium content and it uh, we just use 100% of the rock. There's no waste. Uh, extraordinarily unusual for, for a mining operation. Uh, the magnesium content uh, is really important uh, for, uh, for crops. Uh, magnesium is the most important element in chlorophyll. And chlorophyll, of course, is the important process or, or, or compound in photosynthesis. And if you have to buy chemical magnesium fertilizers, they are very, very expensive and they have to be imported. So the dolomite we have, with its 12% magnesium, really matches those imported uh, magnesium fertilizers and, and becomes an import substitution for, for them. Well, Brian, it was great talking to you on this very important subject. I remember reading on the internet where great scientists in America quote in some of the research and the work you've done in Belize, and I said, but wait, that's the same Brian Holland I've met before. Yeah, I've, I've had the good fortune of working with some really uh, very interesting scientists uh, that have come from universities like Princeton, 
uh, universities from Europe uh, to look at uh, the geology of Belize. These hills around here are really unique, uh, the Punta Gorda Hills. And there's bits of rock here that you find only in Belize and in the western end of Cuba. Uh, we have rocks that were blasted out from the meteorite impact in the northern Yucatan at the end of the Cretaceous that killed off the dinosaurs. We have pieces of those rocks down here in Toledo. That's about three, four hundred miles from here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I've been very, very fortunate here with the, with the people I've met and had an opportunity to work with and write a few chapters in some books. And uh, I'm, I'm a very happy geologist, I must say. Yeah, Brian Holland is a real asset to Belize. He and his wife, Anne, are real animal lovers, and they started the first humane society in Punta Gorda. We were proud to have met these two. 